This video is about turbine shaft which is also called turbo generator shaft. As we know, turbine is a mechanical device. It converts kinetic and pressure energy of steam into useful work. The superheated steam from boiler side goes to the turbine. Kinetic and pressure energy of steam causes rotation of turbine blades, which in turn rotates the turbine shaft on which blades are mounted. As a result generator shaft coupled with turbine shaft also start rotating. Now, rotation of generator rotor converts rotational energy into electrical energy. We can see here complete turbo generator shaft, which is very huge and long. It needs a lot of precise technical features, safety and measures to, to avoid sagging, radial or axial displacement. When high pressure steam enters, it puts thrust on moving blades which produces forward thrust along the axis of turbine shaft. It causes axial displacement. Such displacement can damage blades and other parts of turbine and can also cause major accident due to heavy body rotating at very high speed. Attaining thermal equilibrium is also a cause of concern. To achieve thermal equilibrium, barring gears are employed during cold start and shutdown of turbine. Barring gears are also known as turning gears. First we will see situation of cold start. In this case, boiler has started steam generation. Steam is not at full pressure and flow. Instead, steam is sent at relatively small flow rate to heat up the turbine parts and attain thermal equilibrium. For facilitating uniform heating of turbine rotor, it is rotated at a slow but constant speed using a turning or barring gear. Once the thermal equilibrium is attained, the turning gear is disengaged and the turbine is allowed to reach its working speed with required steam flow. Now take the case of shutdown. Turbine rotor is never brought to standstill condition instantaneously. The speed of the turbine is slowed down to a certain level by reducing steam flow through it. Afterwards, the turning gear keeps turbine rotor rotating for uniform cooling of the turbine rotor. The entire rotating mass may be over 200 metric tons and 100 feet, 30 meters, long. It is so heavy that it must be kept turning slowly even when shut down, say 3 revolutions per minute, so that the shaft will not bow even slightly and become unbalanced. 